Hello friends, my name is S. N. Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss Cayley-Hamilton theorem and example on Cayley-Hamilton theorem. The Cayley-Hamilton theorem states that every non-zero square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. If determinant a minus lambda is equal to zero, is characteristic equation of square matrix A of order n. Okay. And when we solve this, then we get the nth degree polynomial in a lambda. Then Cal Hamilton theorem is A satisfy. A satisfy this characteristic equation. Okay. That is instead of lambda, we write the A here. So this is the Cal Hamilton theorem. And using Cal Hamilton theorem, we can find the A inverse. Okay. For that, we multiply equation two out by a inverse and when we simplify then we get a inverse is equal to minus 1 upon a sub x n in bracket a naught a raised to n minus 1 plus a 1 a raised to n minus 2 plus dot dot plus a n sub x a sub x n minus 1 identity matrix okay the point we already discussed in a previous video lecture okay now here we verify Cayley Hamilton theorem for the matrix of order 3 by 3. In last lecture, we have already discussed uh, Cayley Hamilton theorem for 2 by 2 order matrix. Okay. Now, the question is verify Cayley Hamilton theorem and hence find A inverse for the matrix. Okay. And this order is 3 by 3. First, we write the given matrix. Let A be the given matrix. So, first, we consider characteristic equation okay and when we solve this characteristic equation we get the three degree equation so here the a minus lambda i so here i am writing the simplified state a minus lambda i is what so a is a matrix and lambda is multiplied to the identity matrix here the identity matrix is of order three by three see here Okay, uh, determinant A minus lambda I is equal to, this is A matrix 2 minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2. Okay, A minus lambda time, identity matrix, see this identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, Okay, is equal to 0. Now, lambda is multiplied here. The diagonals are lambda, lambda, lambda. Okay. Now, simplified. That is 2 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda, then remaining entry as it is minus 1, 1, minus 1, uh, 0 here. Okay. Now, this 2 and this minus, 2 minus lambda, minus 1 and 0. Okay. Now, 1 minus 0, that is what? Minus 1 and this 0, minus 1. Now, uh, 2, this 2 minus lambda is multiplied, that is 2 minus lambda. Okay. So, here don't solve the determinant. So, there is a standard formula for finding the uh, determinant is lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus determinant is equal to 0. Okay. So here the S1, S1 is trace of the matrix. The trace is sum of the diagonal element. That is 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 6. So S1 is 6. What is S2? S2 is sum of minor of diagonal element. Sum of minor of diagonal element. So minor of first element is obtained by deleting row and column, deleting row and this column, okay. Hmm. That is minor of 2 is a 2 minus 1, minus 1, 2, plus minor of second element, deleting row and column, that is 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, plus 
minor of third element deleting row and column two minus one minus one two okay now simplify that is four two into two four and here the minus one now plus two into two four minus one two into two four okay minus one okay so here three plus three plus three we get nine that is yes two is nine and you, we know how we can calculate the determinant the determinant is here four okay using traditional method we can find the determinant okay so this is the characteristic equation then by kelly hamilton theorem kelly hamilton theorem a satisfy the given matrix satisfy the equation okay so instead of lambda we write the a now we verify the kelly hamilton theorem for that the requirement of this statement is a we have the a i i means 3 by 3 identity matrix now a square so for here the two things is required the first is a square and second is a cube so first we calculate the a square then a cube a square is a into a this is a matrix and this is a matrix a into a so here the product is first row multiplied to the first column that is 2 into 2 4 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 4 plus 1 plus 1 that is 6 so in this way we calculate the a square so this is a square now we find the a cube a cube we get a cube means what a cube is a square into a okay so this is a square we have already calculated and this is a matrix okay so here the matrix multiplication the first row is multiplied to the column that is 6 into 2 12 here plus 5 okay and 5 that is 5 plus 5 10 okay and plus 12 that is 22 similarly the first row multiplied to the second column third column we get second third in three then second row multiplied uh, first second third column we get the second row third row multiplied to the first second column first second third column we get the third row okay so we get a square a cube now put this a square a cube in equation 2 okay so this is a cube minus 6 time a square plus 9 time a okay and minus 4 time identity matrix okay so first we uh, let us verify the one particular entry now here plus 22 plus 22 Here minus six uh, is multiplied here first element that is minus thirty six. Okay, now nine is multiplied here that is eighteen. Minus four is multiplied here that is minus four. Okay, so here the minus thirty six and minus four is minus forty, and plus twenty two and plus eighteen is plus forty, plus forty and minus forty. we get the zero similarly here we get zero similarly we can calculate the every entry so here we get the null matrix that is kelly hamilton theorem is verified okay now let us find the a inverse for a inverse we multiply this equation equation 2 we multiply this equation by throughout a inverse we multiply by a inverse we multiplied here by a inverse throughout okay then a raised to 3 and a raised to minus 1 means 3 minus 1 that is a square now a square means power 2 and here power minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 a into a inverse that is identity matrix and here identity matrix into inverse is inverse now we want the a inverse now put 4a in a right hand side that is Or a is equal to, and keep this term as it is, a square minus six times a plus nine times identity matrix. Now four is divided. Then, sorry, we keep four a inverse as it is. Now four is divided, that is one by four, and remaining term 
is as it is. Now we already calculated the a square. We have a. We have the identity matrix. Substitute here. Okay. So this is a square. This is a. This is identity matrix. Simplify. We get a in one is one by four. One by four into the calculation. Okay. In this way, we verified Kelly-Hamilton theorem for the matrix of order three by three, and we find the A inverse. Okay. Thank you.